There was a time when receiving an email was a pretty cool thing. You could receive a message from people all over the world almost instantaneously, and you could respond and reply and have a conversation with them back and forth through email. You didn't have to get a stamp, you didn't have to get an envelope, you didn't have to rely on the postal system to move those messages around. And that was pretty cool until it wasn't cool. Now we have inboxes that are overwhelming. We have so many emails that arrive in our mailbox every single day that it can be kind of hard to separate information from noise. And in this video, I'm going to talk about doing just that, making sure that our inboxes contain information, things that are important to us, but getting rid of a lot of noise or putting things aside that we really don't need to deal with so that we can have a mailbox that's manageable, that doesn't make us feel like we're losing control of our day and make us more productive and make us more successful. You can expect to see some pretty dramatic results in this video because I used my own email as a sample and it was not pretty when I began and it is much, much nicer now. Now I did use both these principles that I'm gonna share with you, plus I used a tool, an AI tool that enforces those principles. So let's go take a look at how this all worked. We're all familiar with receiving an email, goes to our inbox, and our inbox becomes massive and hard to manage. This is how we've handled email for a very long time. Just dump it into our inbox, our inbox becomes absolutely huge, and then we're stuck in a situation where we can't find what we're looking for. We could use search functions, but really it's overwhelming and it can actually be a little bit distracting to have an inbox that just keeps getting bigger and bigger. So what we could do is as the emails came in, we could review them and we could divide them into folders for things that we want to keep or tasks that we have to do, things that we're going to save forever and things that we're going to trash. The concept of review and organize is a common time management technique. When I get an email, if I can deal with it right away, then deal with it. If it's something that I need more time to deal with, then set a task with that email and schedule that task. If it's something that I need to keep just for reference, put it into a reference folder or folders. And if it's garbage, just get rid of it. The problem here though, is that that takes time. I have to make sure that I set aside time to review the emails. And even if I turn notifications off and review emails, let's say every 10 minutes during an hour, that's still a lot of manual work to review and organize all of those emails. Another way that we could do it is automate that. So we could create inbox rules. Again, we could decide what it is that we're going to keep or do tasks of over, what we're gonna save forever, and what we're gonna trash. When it comes to computer systems, if we're doing something more than once, we should consider automating it. And all of the email clients have the ability to automate what happens to emails when they arrive. It's called rules and we can set up different email rules. So we could have it that a certain sender, if they send us an email, gets filed in a certain folder. We could have a certain subject in an email gets marked as being urgent. So we can have all sorts of identifiers for the email and then we can have all sorts of actions for what we do once we receive that email. But the challenge with this is that while these rules can be very useful, they don't adapt. They're not dynamic rules and they don't learn. But an even better way would be to train artificial intelligence to do the job for us, to break it into different folders and we could then again, whatever we're going to keep, whatever we're going to save forever, whatever we're going to trash, but with an artificial intelligence, we can review what's happening and we can train the model. And I tried all of these methods. I tried just dealing with the email, manually sorting email, setting up automatic rules. But when I tried artificial intelligence, I got dramatic results. Let's look at just how dramatic those results are. The tool that I used was called SaneBox. SaneBox is a, is a tool that uses artificial intelligence to read your emails, to organize your emails, and more importantly, to learn about your emails. So you can sign up. I just signed in with my Google account, and then you'll add your email account to SaneBox. So here I am with 19,000 unread emails. Now this doesn't include my read emails. It was around 44,000 emails. So I signed up and I added that particular email account to my SaneBox account. 
And then what it did is it went through and it started looking at all of my different emails. It started going through and it started sorting them into categories. It started setting up a series of mailboxes where you would have something called the Sane, a sane box Black Hole, where it puts emails that it doesn't think are very important. It has a newsletter folder that it puts where all the newsletters that you receive. And it really goes through and starts cleaning up all of your emails. Now, you do need to go through and review the emails because you're training it to your specific needs when it comes to emails. So when you run the, uh, the, the same box for the first time, it'll go through, it'll do its best to sort, and it does quite a good job. Now, because I had so many emails, it did take quite some time to go through everything. And then it organized it and I could go in to the various mailboxes. I could see what was said for later, what was said for the black hole, what was said for, you know, staying in my inbox. And I could go in there, I could look at everything and I could make my own decisions. So it takes a little while. I've enabled the same box on my on my email and it will now go through and enable those folders so that I've got the the ability to search and see what I or go through and train it on what I want. So you'll go through, I can go in and you can see I'm already down to about 14,000 emails after it goes through and it's created those folders, the same black hole and the same later and, and the newsletter. But I can also do a deep clean. Because I had so many emails, what I did is I went in and I chose to do a deep clean on those emails and it really looks for things that are no longer relevant, older emails, emails from senders where they've sent me maybe a newsletter every day for a year, two years. I'm not very good at cleaning up the emails, but same box is. So it went through and it took a little while to go through, but it really did a great job of identifying and you can see I've got 44,000 emails, it's gonna save 11.5 gigabytes of space on my system. And when I go into Outlook, you can see that I've, I've gone through, I've done this deep clean, and it's now going to go through. I'm going to be able to select what it is that I want to get rid of, so I can choose different senders, I can choose different um, emails that I'm no longer interested in. So I don't want to select all, you actually want to go through and you want to make sure you select them. But once you've selected them, you'll trash the selected ones. For example, I had a whole bunch of Indeed job alerts for years ago and those jobs are definitely not available anymore. So it goes through and it cleans that up. What type of results did I get by using SaneBox? You might recall I had over 19,000 unread emails in my inbox. Now I'm down to 88. That's a pretty dramatic change. I still have some work to do because I still have to go through and, and identify which senders I want to hear from, which newsletters I want to read, all of those types of things. But the point is that SaneBox is constantly learning. And they actually send a digest that I go through. It summarizes the emails that I've received and then I can identify those ones that I want to retain, those ones that I want to get rid of. I can even block senders using that and it's constantly learning. There's no free plan on SaneBox and that's a good thing because it means that they're not selling your data to make money. They're selling you the service of cleaning up and focusing your inbox. If you're interested, I'll put a link down below and definitely comment on the video. What do you think about the results that I got? What do you think about managing email? Do you think a third party AI tool like SaneBox could help you? Let me know in the comments below. And if the video was useful, always hit the like button, can share it with others because that's very useful for the old YouTube algorithm. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.